Have you ever imagined that before Eve, another female figure could have reigned in the Garden of Eden? Immerse yourself with us in this enigmatic journey where we unravel the mysteries of Lilith, the first woman according to ancient myths. A story of power, challenge, and mystery so intense that will transform your perception of the beginnings of humanity. Not just a forgotten narrative, but a symbol of resistance that resonates to this day. Stay with us as this story promises to change the way you see the world. Welcome to a untold chapter of creation. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and activate the bell so you don't miss any details of this fascinating exploration. Adam and Eve are emblematic figures, widely recognized, whose origins and adventures are narrated in detail in the first pages of the sacred book in Genesis. These traditional narratives weave the tapestry of the beginning of humanity from a specific perspective. However, it echoes through time a lesser-known myth, an alternative narrative that challenges conventionality, suggesting that Eve may not have been Adam's first companion. According to this ancient account, God initially created another woman named Lilith. This figure, shrouded in mystery, distinguishes deeply from Eve, while Eve emerged from a part of Adam, symbolizing a direct connection and a common origin, Lilith is described as having been formed from the same primordial clay as Adam, shaped by the Creator's hands autonomously and independently. This origin shared gave Lilith a perception of equality with Adam, as both were sculpted in a similar way by the Divine Breath, without hierarchies or precedents. This deep sense of parity was the core of Lilith's resistance to submitting to Adam's desires and demands. Contrary to expectations of submission and obedience, Lilith rejected the idea of positioning herself as subservient to Adam. The dynamic between Adam and Lilith in Eden was marked by tensions and challenges, as Lilith's obstinacy and indomitable spirit forced her to confront a critical decision. Accept a life of submission alongside Adam or embrace uncertainty choosing freedom instead, to the detriment of the security of paradise. Faithful to her principles and valuing her autonomy and independence above all, Lilith made a bold decision. She chose solitude and self-sufficiency, rejecting subjugation and leaving Adam behind, as well as the initial home they shared, in search of a destiny that would echo through the centuries as a symbol of resistance and emancipation. Lilith the first woman, according to myth, began her own exile, settling near the Red Sea. By sending celestial messengers, God tried to persuade Lilith to return to Eden. However, she rejected this divine proposal. Alone, Adam sank into the melancholy of solitude, observing human suffering. God then decided to create a new companion, and thus Eve emerged. Far from the divine light, Lilith was stigmatized as an evil figure transformed into a myth of malevolence and a bringer of harm, accused of afflicting babies with illnesses. As protection against her harmful influence, newborns were adorned with amulets inscribed with the names of celestial emissaries, guardians appointed to attempt their redemption. These narratives suggest that Lilith envied Adam and Eve's harmonious existence in Eden. Driven by resentment, she took the form of a serpent and led Eve into error which led her and Adam to taste the forbidden fruit, culminating in the couple's expulsion from the idyllic Eden. Lilith's story is widely recognized. However, this version is not found in biblical texts, which leads both Catholic and Protestant communities to disregard it as part of the official doctrine. The legend that places Lilith as Adam's first consort is detailed in the alphabetical writings of Ben Sira.
Whether interpreted as a malevolent entity or as